In this playlet, we told the story of Mel B and how she believes in voodoo. Voodoo is a religion practiced in parts of the Caribbean, especially Haiti and the Southern United States. It combines elements of Roman Catholic ritual with traditional African religious ceremonies. It's characterized by witchcraft, magic, and spirit possession. This faith is very different from the humanist worldview. Humanists believe that everything is just physical. When you die, you rot, and your corpse is nibbled by rats and worms. There are millions of people all over the world who believe in the supernatural. This boils down to a belief in invisible spiritual powers which can help or harm human beings on a daily basis. So how do these beliefs impact the way people live? Nana Tolupasito comes from Ghana and he trusts in the magical power of charms. In 2017, he asked a friend to shoot him with a gun so he could test his bullet amulet. He sustained very serious injuries. Fortunately, the bullet only pierced the upper part of his left arm, leaving a gaping bloody hole. To understand Nana's religious faith, we need to understand charms and the superstitious behavior which presupposes the reality of invisible supernatural forces. Charms come in two forms. An amulet is an object infused with magical supernatural power, which is believed to protect a person from harm and danger. Talismans are also charms, but they are used to attract positive energies. They give power to the wearer. We may be surprised and even shocked by Nana's faith in charms, but consider these stories that come from the UK. Some British people depend on their St. Christopher charms as they nervously begin a journey. This is a superstitious faith in a magical coin. Gamblers can sometimes trust in a rabbit's foot as they feverishly play the slot machines. Some claim that the left hind foot of the rabbit is particularly lucky and for maximum effect, the rabbit should be killed in a ceremony during a half moon by a silver bullet. Just the other day, I was talking to Mike, our milkman. He told me he had just avoided swerving a car. Touch wood, I'm all right now, Mark, he said to me. This is superstitious behavior. Few know that this saying finds its origin in the ancient world of tree worship. By saying touch wood, you are invoking tree spirits to come and help you. Daphne and Samantha were two upper class ladies who were enjoying a boat ride off the coast of Cornwall. Daphne was gazing at the cliffs and she murmured, look, Look, Samantha, there are rabbits over there. The boatman looked at the two ladies with crusty disdain. You don't talk like that in my boat. He turned the boat around and returned to the harbour without even a word. Daphne and Samantha were puzzled, so they decided to visit a local public house. As they were ordering their gin and tonics, Daphne piped up, Oh! Oh, it's been absolutely frightful, bartender. We were out in a boat and I mentioned the word rabbit. The bartender was blunt. Get out of my tavern. We'll have no more talk like that. Rabbits have long been associated with bad luck in parts of the West Country. Some local fishermen refuse to go to sea if the word rabbit is mentioned. This superstition came to national attention in 2005 when a special batch of posters were made 
for the Wallace and Gromis film, The Curse of the Were Rabbit. In respect of local superstitious behavior, the adverts omitted the word rabbit and replaced the film's title with the phrase, something bunny is going on. Superstitious folk in Dorset are not fully committed animists like Nana, who risked his life by trusting in his charm, but their worldview is tinged with animist themes. Let's compare and contrast humanism with animism. Animists trust in magic, superstitious behavior, and charms because they believe in invisible supernatural powers. Humanists reject this because they believe that only physical stuff is real. This means that they trust in progress and not in magic.